What's up squeegee slingers and water fed pole wiggling wagglers? Today we're having a look at the brand new, well, ish, Tradman Workshop slash YouTube Studio. So this is from now on where we're going to be doing all the video reviews on, on this here table. Okay, we're going to have a look at different tools and bits of equipment. This is the place normally we're going to do it unless we're showing you obviously footage out in the field. So we're going to have a quick wander around the workshop today and show you what we've got. So when we first moved into this premises, this garage was just absolutely full of junk and rubbish and oh, it was terrible. So what I had to do was empty all the rubbish out of here that the previous people that lived here kindly left behind for me. Clear all that stuff out and then use the pressure washer to completely wash everything because the place was covered in spider webs. So we went around the whole place, chemicals, pressure washer, and did all the doors, the walls, the roof, everything was done. So the place is absolutely kind of, well, spotless-ish. So let's go have a wander around, guys, and see what we can see in the new Tradman workshop. Okay guys, so on this wall we've got all the tools just hung up on the wall here. So we'll start down this end and let you have a look. So here this is where Trad Girl's belt lives and spends its life when uh, Trad Girl's not out in the Tradmobile. So just hung up here. So we've got the Makita tool belt. Uh, she's got some Ettore holsters. This is the new Samurai bucket on a belt that she'll be testing and giving her opinion of uh, in the coming weeks ahead. Nice pink colour. We've got the Mormon side kits there, so that's where all that hangs, just on there, nice and tidy. Here we've got the pole wall. So just kind of starting from the top, we've got an Unger pole. This is the first pole I ever used when I was doing high tri-level pole work. Uh, and then we've got this uh, pole here, which it was lent to me by a man named McSqueegee. So if he's watching, big shout out to McSqueegee. He just lives near me and hopefully will be joining me in the future for a video, you'll be showing off his skills. So there's an old Harris pole there. Uh, we've got a short Unger pole here. This is the aluminium N light pole from Unger as well. It's a very, very heavy duty pole. It's well made, um, but it is definitely not light. So why they called it the N light, I have no idea, but it is quite a heavy pole. Uh, to be honest, I found it even heavier to use than the original Unger traditional pole. But it is well made, you could definitely drop it off a building and it would be fine. Following down from that, we've got the Mormon pole here, which I've kind of, as you can see, I've kind of pinched bits off of. Because uh, if, for those of you that don't know me very well, I love to do DIY and modifications. Always looking to improve. Uh, here, I think this is a pole that I got given from my grandfather, I think it was. Um, we have a, a bit of a line of window cleaners in our, in our family. We've got my father, my uncle and my grandfather have all done window cleaning and my father still does window cleaning. So this one, this red pole came from the grandfather, um, which I think I used for a little while until I got my Unger um, poles. I think, it, yeah, I did use that for a little while. Um, further down, we've got the Telescopic AL22 from Telescopic Limited, um, based here in Scotland. So that's a really good aluminium pole and it feels really light. For an aluminium pole, it's a very, very light pole. I love using the telescopic poles. Um, they've got the, obviously it's designed as a water-fed pole, but we've uh, modified it so that it can be used for traditional use. So we've got the Mormon end cone, well, angle adapter just screwed on there. Um, so yeah, it's a really good pole. I love the water-fed pole clamps. Absolutely love them, really nice to use. And then we've got another Unger pole down there. I use that for sort of lower bungalows and shop fronts, that kind of thing. So that is the poles that we've got on there. Uh, these are the ones I don't really use an awful lot now. The poles that I really do use all the time are actually in the Tradmobile. Um, they are the Zero Ultimate 40 foot high modular carbon fiber pole from the US of A. So we'll leave a link in the description below to that pole, really good pole for water-fed pole users. And we also use a Gardner SLX 30 foot uh, that we've converted for traditional use. And we'll leave a link in the description below to that as well. Moving on, we've got the squeegee wall. So just starting from basically top 
to bottom. We've got an old Ettore channel and handle and an Unger one. These were my original squeegees I got given to me by family. So uh, yeah, that one's uh, I think probably older than me, to be honest. And then coming down the way, we've got a modified Ninja, which I was just doing basically an experiment um, to see if we could dog ear the Ninja, which we did. Uh, so that's a zero detailing Unger Ninja, that one, just an experiment. Um, what we've got down here, some Mormon tools. We've got the Combinator handle. So that was uh, when that first came out, I bought that and it was a bit like a, a vice versa. You've got the, um, that's the receiving end on there and that just clicks into that hole and you've got the applicator and squeegee in the one tool. So use that for a little while. Uh, down here, we've got the Mormon snapper handle. This is brand new. We'll leave a link in the description as well to the Mormon snapper handle. The, it's called the toolbox experience, I believe. So you get two channels and this new handle. Nice and quick to uh, change the channels. You just click that button down and then click it back up to uh, lock and load it. Nice and easy. Uh, what else have we got? This is the Mormon Accelerator. Best handle with the Liquidator 2.0 channel in it. Ultimate tool for ultimate window cleaners. Super duper. Pop that back down there. And then moving on, a bucket and a belt that kind of just lives on there. I think that was given to me by my dad and I didn't really use it. Once I got the Mormon bucket, um, I kind of just used that. I don't think the liquidators played nice in this bucket. I think that's maybe why I didn't use it. An Unger scraper there, the four inch one. So it just kind of lives on there. I use the Unger Ninja scraper, six inch. So that's why it's kind of made that kind of useless. Um, we'll come over here and this is the facelift backpack the big boy uh, version one so you've got the on and off switch down there flow control and the power input and then on the right hand side we've got the water fed the outlet there that just kind of goes up the side and they've got the connection hose lock on there so this is a really really good backpack and at next week's video there's going to be a review of the big boy version 2 which we've got on an all new trolley and it's an all new backpack so we'll do a review on that next week moving on this is the tool shelf so rather than just having everything everywhere this is containing all the tools soaps detergents bits and pieces what have we got we've got some bottle holders anything to do with belts really um, and Boab insert. So that is the insert for the new Samurai. Um, because I don't use combination tools in hand, this has made this kind of redundant. I don't need this insert. I use the other insert which holds two squeegees and then gives you a slot for your razor. Um, but I actually use that slot for putting in a bronze wool. So that's what we use that other insert for. What have we got in here? Channels applicators, anything to do with traditional leftovers, bits and pieces, everything that lives in here. Got an old Mormon handle there that I think I was trying to attach to a different pole. Um, what we got, wagtail angle arms. Is that probably an S plus, is it? Yeah, S plus. Unger channel. I used to use them before the liquidator existed. Um, but now I've got the liquidator, it's gonna made them useless. Uh, what have we got in here? Water fed pole fittings and all oh, lots of hose connections, all sorts of stuff. Angle arms for water fed poles. So basically I've got water fed pole, traditional stuff and accessories for tool belts. So holsters and bottle holders. And over here is just sort of like experimental detergents and all lots of other random bits and pieces. Up here we've got some pouches, pouches I used to use. Uh, these are, that was just a one from a hardware store, Scotland flag, woohoo! Um, Unger pouch, we did a review on that, that's on Window Cleaning Resources YouTube page. Uh, what else have we got? This is my old pouch here, the Ergotec pouch. That did me quite a while, but it's a Velcro um, that holds it onto the belt. So over time it kind of wears out and starts falling off. That's a bit annoying. So the new Mormon pouches, I personally think are the best pouches on the market because they actually physically attach to your belt and you can click them on and off. 
so they're really good. Got some little booties for covering my shoes when I'm going inside customers' houses. Saves undoing my boots every two minutes that I need to go inside. Uh, what have we got? Hold on, little clamps here for your ladders. But now we use the quick release, uh, the Rhino Safe Clamps, I think they're called. They're really good that we've got currently on the Tradmobile, but these are backup sets if we ever uh, need them. Uh, what have we got in here? This is car cleaning stuff, I think. And what else? Screen wash, nothing too exciting. Battery gun, every man needs a drill in his house. Woohoo, lovely. So I've got that. What's in here? I think these are sockets, I think. Can I can't remember myself now. Yeah, sockets. Sockets in there. Uh, no, this is the car cleaning stuff. So, and paint stuff, because I, I do DIY repairs on vans. Um, so I've just actually got rid of the rust spots on my van. So I've got all the tools and bits and pieces in there. And this is a restoring kit for the Ford Focus ST that I used to have. Um, we touched up some paint on there. But that car is now gone, sadly. Um, I've had to uh, mature and get a family car that's a bit more sensible. So I cried a little bit. Uh, we got rid of that, so not so good. Anyway, moving on, we've got the squeegee off. We did a review of that on the Window Cleaning Resource YouTube channel as well. It's, mm, yeah, I didn't like it. It was okay. Um, didn't really do anything for me. Uh, well, it's got some hard hats, uh, plastic dust sheets, happy days. We've got some pole hose down here. Any spare bits, got a trolley jack for the vehicles, little portable loo. Uh, used to carry that around in my van, but don't really have much space for it now. Um, because sometimes when you're out in the, uh, the back of nowhere and there's no, there's no toilets, then you've got a proper professional toilet there um, out of a caravan. So it just uses uh, this stuff, chemicals, to, uh, to break down whatever it is uh, you kind of pop in there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, we've got a toolbox down here, bits and pieces in there. What else have we got? We've got this is the going to be the reviews table, so any future tool reviews are going to be on on here. This is where I come to do my paperwork and uh, you know get away from the kids for two minutes while I get my business stuff done. <laughs> Everyone needs peace and quiet. Uh, what else have we got? Car cleaning stuff, van cleaning stuff. Oh, this is really good. This is the Karcher Pressure Washer K2. Got that for under £100 from Argos. Uh, that's really good for cleaning out your applicators and flip pads, all that kind of stuff. And obviously for cleaning your vehicles too. So that's all that. And then we've got the new, I won't try and blind you, but this is the new light stand that we got as well. So we can light the place up. So there you have it, guys. So this is the new Tradman workshop tool station slash YouTube studio slash man cave slash where my wife throws me out if I'm being bad. <laughs> so hopefully you've enjoyed that guys. So this is uh, hopefully future videos. This is what you're going to see. Okay guys. So thank you very much for tuning in. Much appreciated. So remember we'll leave all the links in the description below to the bits and pieces we've mentioned in today's video. We're also going to be leaving a link to our brand new Facebook page called Tradman. So that's a really exciting new feature. It's a good place for notifications of any future videos and also any questions you guys have. You can log on to the Facebook page and fire us a private message if you've got any questions about possible tools you're thinking about getting, techniques, hints, tips, all that kind of stuff. So again, thank you very much guys. Take care, be good, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.